Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today I'll be sharing a few cards I made using Spellbinders March 2022 Large Die of the Month. This is the Hello Sweet Friend die set. The large die is designed for a slimline size card. There's several little flowers and also a leaf die as well. I'm using a mint green cardstock color for the background. I have a darker green for the main die cut piece. I'll adhere the two pieces together using some liquid adhesive. Another option, if you don't wanna put liquid adhesive all over the back, you could first put the cardstock on some double-sided adhesive and then run it through. All you have to do then is remove the release paper. I don't mind using liquid adhesive, it's way less expensive. So I'll just lay those two pieces together. You can see it goes almost to the very edge. And this is a full slimline size card, three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. I've already cut out all of the flowers and the flower centers. What's really fun about the larger flower, there's three different dies and it's designed to layer them all together. So I have some white shimmer cardstock for the background piece. I'm using the same dark green cardstock and the mint green cardstock from the main portion of my card. So I'll just layer those all together using some liquid adhesive. And you can see the three areas on that background die cut where you place those flowers. I decided to glue the flowers down using liquid adhesive, but you could also pop those up using some foam dimension. I'm adhering the other two large flowers the exact same way. I wanted a very subtle design. So that's why I went with just the three colors on this card. I have the two shades of green and the white. Once the three large flowers are attached, I can start working on the smaller flowers. And there are two different sizes of those. I use some more of the white shimmer cardstock to cut these out. I love the etch detail on each of the petals. Now before gluing these down, I do want to mention those petals are not all exactly the same size. So if you don't mind if it doesn't line up perfectly, then it's fine. But I wanted to make sure that I lined it up to that background die cut piece. So that's why you see me rotating that flower or my card around. So once I find the correct direction, then I'll glue it down. And this is another one that you could also pop it up or you could leave the ends of the petals loose without the adhesive and just curl them up slightly. I did speed up quite a bit of this video simply because it's a lot of me doing the same thing, just gluing pieces down. Once I have all of the flowers adhered, I can glue the centers. I cut these out from some silver holographic cardstock just for that little extra shine using some liquid adhesive and attaching them to the card. To pick them up, I did use my embellishment wand. Now I'll put some ATG tape on the back of the card front and adhere it to my card base. And since that die is a full slimline size, I wasn't able to add an additional cardstock layer. I've already stamped out the sentiment, thinking of you. This is from Spellbinders Essential Sentiments stamp set, and I use Catherine Pooler's Sea Glass ink color. I'll be adhering it to the left side of the card. Before attaching it, I am putting some scrap cardstock on the very left-hand side, since the right side of that sentiment is sitting on top of one of the flowers. I just wanna keep everything at the same level. For one final finishing touch, I'll use some of Spellbinder's gem stickers. This is the crystal mix. I'm adding the very small gems to the center of those large flowers. Even though the gems do have adhesive on the back, I also put a very small drop of liquid adhesive just to make sure they don't fall off later. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. I kept the first card fairly simple. You can get way fancier. So I wanted to show another card. I used some pattern paper from Paper Rose. This is their ultraviolet collection, really bright and vivid colors. And here is the card I made. Now I'm not showing the process. This took me hours to make. 
I inlaid all of those little pieces of the leaves and the blue flowers. The background, I used some white shimmer cardstock and added a gold paint splatter so it has a little extra shimmer. The part that took me forever is inlaying all of those leaves and the flowers. Some of those pieces are teeny tiny. My eyes were not happy with me after I made this card. I don't do well with super detailed work. Once in a while, I'll go out of my comfort zone and make a card like this, but there's no way I could do a second. My eyes were already protesting. I absolutely love how it turned out though. But I did wanna show the process of one more card, and this is a very simple card design. This card is American Standard A2 size, four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. I have some white shimmer cardstock for the background, adding a strip of pattern paper, and this is that same Paper Rose Ultraviolet collection. I think this is a three fourth inch strip. I'm using some Love From Lizzie peel offs, adding it to the very edge of that pattern paper. I first put the narrowest width down, And then I'll also use the widest width and put it above that pattern paper strip. I'm cutting the ends just a little bit longer than the panel and I'll just wrap those around the back. Next, I'll stamp my sentiment directly onto the card front. I'm using another Spellbinders stamp set. This is Simple Sentiments. Decided to go with just a general hello. I'll ink this up a few times. Now, since this is shimmer cardstock, I just wanna make sure to let that ink dry before I touch it. That way it won't smear. Instead of flipping over that card panel and putting the ATG tape on the back, I'm putting it on the card front. So I'll just adhere those two pieces together. Then I'll add three of the layered flowers. And this is using the same ultraviolet paper collection. Using the grid on my craft mat, I'm adhering the first flower, trying to make sure to get it nice and centered. Then I'll adhere the other two and put them at a little arch. Trying to make sure to get those outside flowers nice and evenly spaced. I love the look of the flowers with the three different colors of pattern paper. So just adhering that final flower keeping the card nice and simple, but I'll still add one of the gem stickers to the center of each of the flowers, this time using the Prism AB color. These are super shiny. I did put that drop of liquid adhesive in the center just to make sure those gem stickers don't come off later. Spellbinders recently added some new colors for their essential gems, and I love using them. There's four different sizes. So there is my finished card and I did make two using this design. Now here's another look at the five cards I made using Spellbinders March 2022 Large Die of the Month. This is the Hello Sweet Friend die set. If you are interested in subscribing to the Large Die of the Month, I do have links provided in the description box below. In order to receive this die set, you do need to subscribe by March 24th. Spellbinders has lots of great monthly club kits. I also receive their card kit and their embossing folder kit. And I will be sharing a video using both of those coming very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.